Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Shenanaderp server. We are here at my base to do the annual, well, regular head placing ceremony. Last time we had just completed another row with 50 or 156 subscribers. Today we get to add two more. So 157, 158. So welcome 157, 158. I really wish I knew who you were, but I can't because of YouTube. But welcome. Hope you enjoy the show. So today I was reading my comments and somebody in the comments pointed out that I might have a way to put repair on the rest of my armor. Uh, this was a guy named Pokemon Fox 7. Hope I got that number right. But he suggested maybe throwing the uh, Thaumium armor, the Thaumcraft armor, with repair on it into the uncrafting table and see if that would work. Now, if I can find it... No, not that one. There it is. Diamond Sword with Soul Stealer 4. So I've done this already, but it was with the Soul Shards mod, not with Thaumcraft. So I don't know yet. See, that's projectile protection. I don't know. But let's see if we can get some repair on either a chest piece or on pants. Protection 4. No. Okay, well, I need a little bit more levels. I so like the braid in the jar better when I could store an infinite number of levels in it. Come on, repair. Come on, repair! Yes, repair 2. Sweet. Okay, so, let's see if we can throw this in the uncrafting table. I should be able to find out real quick. No! Cannot throw it in the uncrafting table. And I don't know exactly why, aside from the fact that it just wasn't programmed into the game. Uh, wasn't programmed into Twilight Mod, because that's what the uncrafting table is for. It's the Twilight Mod. Um, so the Thalmcraft stuff wasn't programmed into the Twilight Mod, whereas the soul shard mod was so yeah maybe in a future update maybe not i don't know but hey it was a very very good idea and to an extent it was right because like i said i did it with that sword that's how i got a soul stealer uh yeah soul stealer on a Diamond sword when soul stealer can only be placed on a vile sword Yeah, I gotta go wither hunting here soon Or wither skull hunting because I think only one person has managed to actually get a wither skull in this game And that was compu. That's how he made his portal gun What's that? Oh brown wool um, Yeah, so Yeah all right, well then, I'm going to put my stuff back. Okay, before I continue with the episode, I want to point out that I did figure out what the Charm of Keeping does. I believe that was Computercraft that pointed that out. Basically what it does is, if you die, you can keep the item you're holding, which presently for me is nothing, and your armor. Quite useful if you have somebody that likes to come to your place and try to kill you. Speaking of, I want to go on a tiny little rant about griefers. Now, we all hate griefers, but do we all recognize that there are different types of griefers? There's the type of griefer that goes around and just randomly destroys things willy-nilly just because they like doing that. A, a troll, basically. Should be insta-banned. Then, there's the kind of griefer... That lets creepers blow up other people's stuff and then doesn't fix them. Or even worse, pretends to fix them. What the hell is this? This actually destroyed my setup. 
So, yeah. Thank you for that, adult. Okay, so now that that's fixed, I want to finally make use of my soul shards that I have. The, uh... Yeah, I've got three of them. Um, Creeper, Enderman, and Cow. So I finally, finally, finally want to make use of them and just get that over with. Get back here. Okay. Need... I have no idea how much stone I'm going to need. Probably a whole bunch. Because I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to build this thing. Definitely got a bit of spawn. It's gonna be underneath my house. Oh, hi. Yeah, doesn't work all that well, does it? Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna build them here, all three of them. But I can tell you, it's not gonna be easy. So let's see. I think it takes 43 blocks fall for an Enderman to die. Um. I guess I could probably make this the easy way and just fill in the back wall and then just build out. Uh, eight blocks by eight blocks? That sounds safe to you guys? Sounds safe to me. I shouldn't have anything spawning outside of the eight by eight area, theoretically. Of course, we all know how things work, theoretically. Okay, that should be... A smooth enough wall for now. So let's see, if we want to count 8, 8, so we want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so one more is 9. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then one more is 9. So right now we have an 8x8 eight eight area inside. Hope that's wide enough. I don't want to think spawning outside of this area. Alrighty. So it looks like I have <laughs> a little ways to go to get up high enough. Okay, so right now I am actually 23 blocks high. Because it's either 43 or 23, and I can't remember which one. So let's throw a, ch or a, 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 a cage there, and let's put our Enderman spawner in it. Boop. And they're not dead. Okay, so let's hurry up and pop that. Oh, my soul shard went away. Oh, this might be a problem. Okay. So, I was wrong. Um, or, I was right. Not 23. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's try this again at, uh, 20 higher. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. Oh, I think I lost an enderman too. Crap. Okay, now I am 45 blocks off of the bottom. And, uh... Yeah, since my floor is right there, why don't I just make that level the roof, kick it up uh, two more blocks and then cover it over, make it at the roof, and then I'll know for sure that it's high enough. And I'll also be able to do my next step, which I will show here shortly because I've got to prepare for it. Alrighty, so let us give this a try again. We put down the cage, we get our soul shard, and... Nothing happens. Why is nothing happening? Oh, there we go. Hey, they're dead. Okay.
Yay, that worked. Okay. I took that down. I took the soul shard down t because this was just a test of the system right now. What I'm going to do... And you know what? I don't know if this is going to 100% work. But what I'm thinking about doing is actually taking... You know, a lot of this area. Like, uh... uh um, okay, I've got three soul shards, but for center... I have four blocks. Which now I have to go chase that one. So one of them is going to be the cow, one of them is going to be the enderman, one of them is going to be the creeper, and then one will be the wither skulls once I get them. Or the wither skeletons once I get them. Um, yeah, I figure instead of having a separate one for each spawner why not just have one and be done with it you know since the endermen are the ones that have to fall the furthest i think well then just let the endermen fall the furthest and die and everything else will definitely die when it falls so simple solution huh but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wire up these four blocks so i can turn off the spawners Except for the creeper spawner, because, as we can see, the creeper spawner is only a tier 4. It only has 516 kills. I might try to go out creeper hunting and get it up to a tier 5, because I have two different um, soul stealer swords now. Yeah, my diamond one and the vile sword. The Vile Sword would probably be really good for Creeper Hunting because it's got Sharpness 5. Unbreaking 3. Isn't Unbreaking for Tools? Did I do that? I think I might have done that. I don't know if it works, but I, I might have been... I might have put that on there, not... It, I don't think it was a natural enchant. But yeah, so I got a Diamond Sword with Soul Stealer 4. That's actually going to be my... Uh, wither skeleton hunting sword because well it's got smite and I think smite works on wither skeletons so I need redstone I'm back and while I don't have redstone I have the next best thing I have red alloy wire now I really 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 like red alloy wire because it goes forever It goes 255 blocks before it runs out of redstone signal. So I can put whoa, the shards in here and not have a problem. But there's also something else I can do. Now, we know my creeper spawner isn't going to turn off with the redstone signal. So what can we do about that? Well, that should actually be theoretically easy. And I say theoretically because, well, it's all theoretical. But I should be able to do it with redstone lamps. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do actually is fill out... Oh, shite. Well, I guess it's a good thing I have a silk touch pickaxe. Anyways, alright, so let's fill these out, and then let's count in there, so that's two in, one, two, three, one, two, three, and I'm going to have to keep track of where the center is, so, two, three. So we'll put the redstone lamps there, and then we'll run the red alloy wire. Right there. And I'm fairly sure that's centered. So, now we have lighting. So, if I guess which one... Yes, okay, that has the platform. Sweet! Why aren't he centered? Oh, because I'm an idiot. 
because the wall here would actually be this line right there. <sighs> oh well, it'll work. So now if I put the Enderman Shard into place, nothing should happen. I don't think anything's happening. So let's put the Cow Shard in place. And now we got a cow shard, so now we have both. And then... Oh, not that one. Crap. Catch it, catch it, catch it! Crap. Oh, I can get the stuff I dropped out of here. Alrighty. Ah! Okay, now. Put that there, and then we get out our... Creeper shard, put it there, and then theoretically the creeper shouldn't spawn because there's light around. But once I do, this, and then turn off, theoretically everything should fall and die. I heard a cow, I heard things dying. Creepers falling, dying. I'm seeing creepers falling and dying, but I'm not seeing any Endermen. Did I do something wrong? What's up with the Endermen? Why don't the what? Why no Endermen? Whoa! I don't want a creeper. Oh, hey! That's an interesting thing. I thought in the new version in hard mode, which we are in, I thought creepers were supposed to explode when they hit the ground. Okay, so... Um, two of them work. But I don't know why the Endermen don't. I have stuff now! Oh, that's not as much as I thought it was. Anyways, let's put those back for now. Hi, zombie. Well, let's see if we can figure out what's up with the Enderman spawn. Oh, okay, that's not there anymore. Okay, so what be up with the Enderman spawner? Why, oh, why, oh, why will this not work? Well, let's see what happens if I pop this guy. And then let's put him a little farther away from the others. Uh, let's see. There's a red signal between there and there. Let's put him here and see what happens. Cows. Cows. Just cows. Oh, there goes a creeper. Creepers might not be spawning as much because there's a lot of light up here. Oh, well, there's a couple of them. But I'm still not getting any Endermen. Why am I not getting any Endermen? They worked before. Oh. I think I know. Okay, okay, okay. This is gonna blow your mind. Think about this. Endermen are three blocks high. Cows and creepers are two blocks high. The Endermen spawned before when this chunk of the ceiling wasn't there. Maybe, just maybe, the Enderman spawner has to be one block below the ceiling. So, so what if the Enderman spawner needs to be down here to work? So if we put that there, and then we throw the Enderman shard in there, oh, all of a sudden, everything's working now. But they're not dying. Frack! I'm at Y5 right now. Whoa. 
theoretically they will spawn here and I am at Y47. 47. 47. They're falling 47 blocks before they die. Or before they hit the ground and they're not dying. That is crazy. Alrighty, I guess I have to rip the roof off of this. But at least if they were falling from one higher and dying, that means I just have to raise the roof by one. Higher than I wanted it to be, higher than I thought it would be, but it should work. Should work without a problem. Well, should being the optimal word there. I guess we'll find out when I actually manage to get everything built up. Okay, so now let's see if I can get my anal retentive nature correct. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, I think I actually got that right this time. Cool. So we put in our lamps. Um, we put in the wire. That's that's what I need. I need wire. And then we mark out the center four, which are these four. And then we attach our cabling where we need to and then we can put our lever wherever we want to and it will activate everything because that's why redstone's amazing or not redstone red power red power is freaking awesome oh and i need smooth stone again oh let's turn these on so i can actually see what i'm doing Alrighty, so, these are the center four, so I need an Enderman one, which is special, so it's going to be down farther. Which means that this one right here is going to be ever so slightly different. It needs to go that way. Okay, now... If I put the Enderman spawner there, Creeper spawner there, and a Cow spawner there. Uh, wait, wait, which one's which? That's the Enderman spawner. So Enderman spawner there, Cow spawner there, Creeper spawner there. Let us pop the block on the assumption that I'm correct on this theory. Close off the only other entrance, and crap, they're just getting hurt, they're not getting injured again. Holy crap, Endermen fall from an amazing different distance and don't die. They were dying before, and they were only one block higher. And I moved everything one block higher, and now they're not dying. <sighs> Alrighty, well, let's make this like its own separate room, kind of ish. Um, I'm going to raise this up several more blocks with the general idea that the Ganendermen need to die at some point. There's got to be some height where they die. Wait. Oh crap, things are spawning. Because I forgot to pop the bloody things. Yay, everything dies now. Oh. Sweet. Okay, so. <laughs> Basically, this now goes up to ground level. This is the two piles of dirt, and right above this right here is grass. 
So, yeah. I had to have some fun with that. So let's sprinkle around some torches up here. To avoid anything from spawning up here. Let's close off the rest of this place. Oh, crap. Ow. And then I'm going to use micro blocks to cover this up. Okay, now, first thing I'm going to do is actually the inside of the blocks because I don't want to even risk anything spawning on that little area right there. So if I do this, I shouldn't have any problems. And then we do the outside, not that outside. But we do the outside. And thus, nobody knows it exists. Alrighty. Well, that works at least. Oh, there is one thing that I do need to do first. And that's actually put a floor here on this level because I need some way to catch this stuff. I'm not going to be running in here to grab everything. And as weird as this set seems, I want to put torches uh, around the edges. Kind of like that. That way, um, nothing spawns here. Everything spawns up there. So I don't have to worry about, like, zombies or anything getting into the mix. So let's put that there. Head on back up. Whee! Pop a spy hole. Turn you on. Whoops. Yes, okay. Let's just let it run for a couple of seconds, make sure everything dies, and we don't just have random things that decide that they want to live magically. Yep, looks like it works. Sweet. <sighs> Alrighty, so the floor is here, so let's put a block here. Now let's open up an area here and here. Yay! Once again, so much crap, I can't carry it. Oh, well, I seem to be able to carry it just fine. So, now, what I need to do is figure out a way to pick up things that fall. Now, I could do the, the obsidian pipes like I did in the old Ender spawner. Enderman spawner. Uh, but that's a lot of obsidian pipes, that's a lot of iron pipes to coordinate and make sure everything's going in the right direction, and that's a giant, giant pain in the butt. However, there is something in red power that I can use that I cannot remember the name of. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to look up what those things are. But I can use them, run the pipes underneath them. They'll suck up everything and then push them out, uh, not with pipes, with uh, tubes, pneumatic tubes. And then I'll run the pneumatic tube up the wall, inside the wall even, I can do. Take a lot of micro blocks, but I can do that. And then have, um, let's see, uh, 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 um, Gunpowder, meat, and ender pearls. Ooh, and leather. Fourth one for leather. So yeah, I could have four whole barrels just for stuff. So I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, so I think we have a winner, at least for now. So I'm going to wrap up this episode because, well... For the most part, I'm out of things to do until I research that red power. Hey, there was a block missing up there. Come on. There we go. All right. Yeah, that was fun, and that was productive. I actually got something done today, so that's cool. 
well, I guess done is the incorrect word for it. Uh, proof of concept? Yeah, that's what I call it. My proof of concept spawner. So, I will see you guys in the next episode, and as always, keep playing the game, and have fun.